TV Live, and we have another new trade idea for you, the people. How do you like this? FNI. The new symbol is FNI, Fathom Nickel Inc. That's right, Fathom Nickel Inc. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. I'm going to show you guys a lot about this company, why I think they have a chance to be something unique, something successful, and we're going to get right into all the major reasons why. All right. So right off the bat, I'm going to share with you this. Okay. So you guys see this? Fathom targeting high-grade nickel sulfide to fuel the electric vehicle revolution. That's right. Now, if you guys have any questions about the pick, please put it in the chat. I'll do my best to answer your questions. I did interview the CEO yesterday. Very, very pleased with the interview. And I'm very excited to learn more about the company. Now, let's take a look at this. All right. So... This is their website. The website is fathomnickel.com. That's the website. Feel free to follow the website as well, where you can learn more about the company. And they do have links to Facebook right on the website. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all on their website. They got links to their social media feeds. And you can see here that Fathom Nickel FNI in Canada is a publicly traded resource development and exploration company that is targeting high grade nickel sulfide discoveries for use in the rapidly growing global electric vehicle market. Located in Saskatchewan, the company is accelerating exploration on its flagship Albert Lake project, host to the historic. Roddenstone Mine, which is recognized as one of the highest grade deposits of its type ever mined in Canada. So this is the website. I'm not going to go through the entire site, but I want you guys to be aware of it. So you guys can look at it if you choose to. All right. Now, if you guys have any questions, please let me know what your questions are. All right. And let's just go to the live studio here. Let me edit something real quick. Interesting, interesting. Fathom Nickel. All right, there we go. All right. Hope you guys are all having a great day this morning. Love to know what you guys think about Fathom Nickel. Love to know what you guys think about Fathom Nickel. As you can see, the symbol in Canada is F N I, and the symbol in America is F. N I C F and the symbol in Frankfurt, Germany is six Q five. So those are the symbols of reference for you guys to learn about fathom nickel. I'm just going to take a look at the news that they had, which I want to share with you guys. So they are redoing a resumption of drilling at the Albert Lake property. Fathom Nickel Inc. is pleased to announce it has commenced drilling activity at its wholly owned Albert Lake property, host of the historic Roddenstone mine that produced some of the highest grades of nickel and platinum group metals. The company has commenced a two-phase fall-winter 6,000-meter drill program. Phase one will end mid to late October, and phase two will commence late January 2022. The drilling activities are a follow-up to our winter 2021 drill program. BHEM targets 
identified in historic drilling, the property-wide gradient mag survey, a recent gravity survey, localized TDEM surveys, the summer mapping and soil geochemistry program, and areas where significant ultramafic intersections were drilled by previous operators of the property. Note at, in this uh, release issued on August 30, 2021, company announced the commencement of an air TEM survey at Albert Lake due to a technical issue, this program has been postponed. Company has a cash position of approximately 7.2 million and is fully financed to execute on both its fall 2021 and winter 2022 exploration programs. Brad Vandenbush, Fathom's president and CEO, also provided a brief statement on the timing of Fathom's fall 2021 exploration program. We are very pleased with the resumption of drilling activity at Albert Lake property. Over the summer months, the team completed phase one and two of the surface exploration program to better refine our geological model and further define targets for the current drill program. We are excited about the growth forward as we identify additional mineralized areas. So be aware of this news that just came out on September 13th. So it's only come out two days ago. And what I want to do is I also want to show you the share structure, which is extremely impressive. So this is a company that's got money in the bank, tight share structure, strong management team with years and years and years of experience, and they've already started drilling. So guys, you guys know that we love to understand the fundamentals of a company. This is a company whose fundamentals are strong. Look at the shares. Look at the market cap. I mean, this is one of the smallest market caps we've ever seen. Okay. We're talking about a 16 million market cap. That's right, a 16 million market cap. So absolutely a baby market cap and only 45 million shares issued outstanding, fully diluted, including all options and warrants. I believe the CEO said 52 million shares. So extremely tight. This is what I would call extremely tight, extremely tight share structure, an extremely impressive share structure. And here at Rich TV Live, we love to understand the fundamentals of a company when we're looking into a company. We need to understand what we're buying. We need to understand what we're buying and why. Right off the bat, money in the bank. They've got money and runway for their drill program. And they are a baby market cap with room to grow, in my opinion. Lots of room to grow, in my opinion. All right, let's just get this going here. All right, hope everyone's having a good day. If you guys have any questions about the pick, please put it in the chat. Let me know what your questions are, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. All right, we got some questions. Good morning, Amanda. And Amanda says, wow, that's a tight float. You guys know I like tight floats, right? Well, we did it again. We found another tight float stock. Now let's look at the stock price because you guys know I like to really understand the fundamentals of a company. Let's do that. So right off the bat here, we're going to go to Weeble. All right, so we're now on Webull. You can see that the share price has seen a high, high of 88 cents. I'm going to mark it with a rectangle right here. So it's seen a high, high of 88 cents. It's seen a low, low of 35 cents, and we're currently at 36 cents. So we're right at the bottom, folks. So you can clearly see on this chart, the top is 88 when it first came out. The bottom is 35, and we're at 36 and a half. So we're at a pretty good spot, don't you guys think? Love to know what you guys think. And love to get your guys' feedback on where you think we are. But, I mean, clearly when you look at this, you can see that we are near the bottom. Okay, and in America... Right here, Fathom Nickel. All right.
You can see here Fathom Nickel in America. I mean, it looks very similar, right? 44 cents is the high in America. And 30 cents is the low. So you can clearly see how it has been doing in America. 30 cents low, 44 cents high. And it's just started trading in America just a couple months ago. So this has been going straight down, folks. Straight down. Now my question is, where do you think it goes from here? That's the million dollar question is where do you think it goes from here? And I'd love to know what you guys think, but you can clearly see that based on what it's done, it is right near the bottom, right near the bottom. And as investors, we love to buy stocks at the bottom, especially companies with money in the bank, growing revenue. And this is a company that fits that bill. This is a company that fits that bill. Absolutely perfect. All right. All right. All right. So what we're going to do now, let's just see if there's any other messages. Nobody has any messages this morning about Fathom Nickel. All right. No worries. No worries. So now what I'm going to do is we've seen the charts. We've seen the share structure. Now let's really understand the business. Okay. Let's get right into the business. So this is the website, fathomnickel.com. If you go to the about section, you can learn a little bit more about Fathom Nickel. Fathom Nickel is a Canadian resource development and exploration company pursuing a rapid growth strategy in the 35 billion global nickel market. So great opportunity here. Let me show you guys something here. Let me share with you guys this. Here we go. So you guys can see what I see. Boasting a management team with plus 100 years of combined mining and exploration experience, Fathom's vision is to find and develop high-grade nickel or deposits, acquire strategic assets that fit the corporate mandate, and become a leader in the Canadian nickel exploration industry. Fathom believes in a continuing bright outlook for nickel and its increasing use in the manufacturing of batteries needed for energy storage in the high growth renewable energy and electric vehicle industries. Since 2015, the company has advanced the development of the Alberta Albert Lake project and is now planning a multi-phase exploration strategy for 2021. I'm not going to go through all of this, but you guys can see that this is an interesting project with seasoned leadership and stay tuned to my CEO interview with Brad Vandenbush, President, CEO, and Director of Fathom Nickel. So that is the website. Feel free to take a look at the website. And I found this article here from Investing Insider talking about a special opportunity report. It says, forget lithium, forget cobalt. Elon Musk is begging mining companies, mine more nickel. For this, major nickel shortages predicted as the 2.7 trillion auto industry could be about to send nickel demand soaring. Well, if nickel demand soars, this could be a small cap that everyone should be aware of. If nickel's going to soar, we want to make sure that everyone is aware, right? If anything is going to soar, our goal, our mandate here at Rich TV Live is to make sure that everybody knows that's our mandate. That's our goal. That's what we do best here at Rich TV Live. So I just wanted to make sure everyone understood who was behind the deal. Now I want to look, hey, Mike, how are you? Now I want to look at the PowerPoint presentation, which is also on the company's website. All right, let's take a look at the PowerPoint presentation, see if we can find out some more. So this is the PowerPoint presentation. All right. So this is what the PowerPoint presentation looks like. It's 32 pages. I'm not going to go through all of it, but I do want to go through some of the key areas of focus. High-grade nickel sulfide exploration in Canada. 
All right. So corporate highlights, nickel demand expected to expand 125% from 2 million tons annually to in 2020 to over 0.5 million tons in 2030. Demand for class one nickel further underpinned by growing penetration of electric vehicles, which is expected to account for 59% of nickel demand in 2030, up from 5% in 2020. Albert Lake project consists of 90,000 hectares drill ready exploration lands located in Saskatchewan, Canada with over 80,000 hectares currently unexplored. Guys, we have runway and room for major exploration here. Albert Lake project consists of 90,000 hectares drill ready exploration lands located in Saskatchewan, hosts the historic Roddenstone mine an open pit, high grade NI sulfide past producer from 1965 to 1969 with a 3.23% NI grade plus associate metals CU plus PGE. Deposits of high grade NI CU plus PGE mineralization, such as the rotten stone deposit, do not exist in isolation, which points to a much larger potential NI CU plus PGE resource on the land package. Unique mineralization of historic rhinestone deposit and bulk sample metallurgy showed metal recoveries of greater than 90% NI, CU, CO, and 80% PD dash PT. So this is very technical for miners. I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. Okay, guys. Drilling confirms rotten stone extension includes 18.1 price target over 1.01 meters, 7.22% NIEQ, a minimum of 40 meters southwest extension. Drilling intersection, significant ultramafic mineralization at New Discovery Hole. Island showing 550 meters northwest of Roddenstone. Borehole EM survey in Discovery Drill Hole. Island showing potential indicative of increased mineralization southwest direction. Completed Heliborn high resolution gradient magnetic survey consisting of over 9,000 line kilometers. Fathom recently closed an upside private placement of 11.15 million fully funded to carry out its exploration and drilling programs for the remainder of 2021 and 2022. Management and board with over 12 decades of combined experience and track record, moving exploration projects into production, Casa Verde, Maine, Hecla Mining, Beaver Dam, Atlantic Gold, Cisneros, and Atiqua Gold, Comis Wadi Lake Resources. So you can see some of the Fathom Nickel timeline highlights. You can see between 2015 and 2020, they acquired the Albert Lake project. In the winter exploration program of Q1 2021, commenced, commenced winter 2021 drill program. And go public financing completed upsized private placement of 11.15 million to fully fund the company just recently, guys. Mag survey property wide heliborn gradient mag survey of 9,000 line kilometers and Q1 2021 exploration program results were delivered in Q2. And you can see here the limited exploration, extension of land prop package, approval of permit, development of new targets. The public listing in May 25th of 2021. So this company's only been public for less than four months. This is less than four months old, baby. Begin summer, fall 2021 drill program to continue exploration of high grade nickel deposits. So guys, we're just in the precipice of this. They laid the foundation of systematic exploration and possible discovery of new deposits on the property. Nickel fundamentals. 
So you can see here, nickel is in very high demand right now. Major, major demand. Especially because nickel used in the electric vehicle sector. You can see nickel pricing from 2010 to 2021. Price has been kind of up and down. But EVs are currently, electric vehicles, are driving nickel demand. Tesla is saying, please mine more nickel. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. This was Elon Musk in the Tesla earnings call July 22nd, 2020. Epic. Absolutely epic. And Fathom Nickel is listening. And you can see the 2, point, uh, 2 million tons in 2020, 2.9 million tons in 2025, and 4.5 million tons by 2030. That's the electric vehicle demand estimated by 2030. So there's a lot of nickel needed, not fathom nickel. This is the global nickel resource estimated at 300 million tons. And you can see the countries, the global supply, 118 million metric tons, which is 40%, and global supply, 178 million metric tons, 60%. And you can see nickel sulfides and nickel laterates. And you can see the countries that really are, you know, look at Indonesia. South Africa and Canada is right up there, 20% with nickel sulfides. Not bad at all. Second behind South Africa. And who would have known that Indonesia would be the leader, the global leader of nickel laterites? Wow. See, I didn't know that. Learn something every day. Top four producing countries account for 79% of global NI sulfide resources. And Canada happens to be one of them. Didn't know that. So there is a unique mineralization for green economy. You can see the price of nickel, copper, cobalt, platinum, palladium, rhodium, and gold. And I believe we're going to need them all. Okay. The nickel usage, primary element in creation of EV batteries. The primary element in creation of EV batteries is nickel. So you can see how important it is and what all the other key areas um, and how they make a difference and why they're so important. And we're going to talk about all of these metals because I really believe that the metal sector is heavily oversold and is due for a rebound at some point. I mean, we're literally at the bottom and we keep showing all of our members and, and we can show you with these picks over and over again that we're finding a bottom for gold, nickel, copper, miners in general, silver. They're all finding a bottom. You'd have to assume at some point there's going to be a trend reversal. So the best place to find a new mine is in the shadow of an old one, Albert Lake Project Overview. So this is where they're drilling. So you can see here, Albert Lake Project in Saskatchewan, the history of the Albert Lake Project. So in order to be able to find something that could be a huge discovery, a lot of times you go to previous areas where they've been drilling and discovering properties that have minerals and metals. Well, how about the Rod and Stone Mine? The deposit was initially drilled in 1929 with high-grade NI-CU 2%, very intermittent expiration from 1929 to 1960, original historic resource estimated in 1946, 45,000 tons of 2% NI, 1% CU 5.5 grams a ton, PD-PT plus rhodium. From 1970 to 1998, limited expiration, and then 1999 to 2003, expiration by Uranium Exploration Company. 2015, Project Core concessions acquired by Fathom. Fathom expanded the land base from 10,000 hectares to a current 90, 
thousand hectares amassed and compiled historical data from 1929 to 2018. Necessary permits are now in hand. Exploration model and strategy in place, engaged and have excellent relationship with the First Nations to mine the land, access to power and infrastructure within 15 kilometers of the property. So they are ready. They are ready to drill and extract these resources out of the ground to help out Elon Musk and everybody else in the electric vehicle space. So you can see the Albert Lake properties geological setting. Host to numerous world-class nickel mining camps included Thompson Nickel Belt, which is currently operating, Lynn Lake, and Raglan Nickel Belt, which is currently operating. Saskatchewan is relatively underexplored, jurisdiction for nickel, VMS type, and gold deposits. So who knows what they're going to be able to find? And everyone knows that Saskatchewan is flat, which makes it, I guess it probably makes it even easier for drilling. I'll have to ask the CEO, but it seems like a reasonably good place to drill and to mine. Rodnestone Mine has an open pit from 1965 to 1969. 26,000 tons mined of reported 45,400 to 54,400 tons resource. Concentrate transported to Inco Refinery Copper Cliff, Ontario. Average reported grade 3.23% NI, 1.83% CU, 9.63 grams a ton PT, PD plus AU. 2007 Fathom Meteorological Study demonstrates excellent metal recovery. Recoveries of NI-CU 92%, CO 95%, PD-PT 85%. Sample head grade confirms historic grade 3.99% NI, which is nickel, 1.32% CU, and 970 parts per million PPM CO. 12.60 grams a ton PD dash, uh, PT dash PD plus AU. Post production drilling confirms deposit remains open along strike south southwest of historic mine. Excellent grade metallurgy, tremendous opportunity to expand historic deposit. So the Roddenstone, a Raglan Lake model with necessary plumbing, plumbing in place. So you can see that they are getting ready. And that's why they're drilling, folks. With the confirmed extension of historic Roddenstone mine, you can see the drill holes. MAG survey points to high quality targets for summer drilling. So very high quality targets that they're focused on drilling with their major focus. Obviously they'll pull whatever they can out of the ground, but they're really focused on identifying a huge nickel deposit. Huge, huge, huge nickel deposit. And you can see the Albert Lake exploration update. So Q1 2021 exploration program, nine holes, 1,232 meters. And you can see the check marks drilling is complete and showing very positive signs. So you can see all of the positive signs of drilling and they're just getting started. And the company, like I said to you, has just recently gone public, less than four months old. So we're literally getting in to this opportunity at ground floor. So they break down the implications slash takeaways of the drill program. I'm not gonna go through all of it all day, but it's showing very positive results.
very, very positive results. And typically when companies start drilling, that's usually the biggest catalyst for the stock. So as they start to drill, if they put out big news with big discoveries, those could be major catalysts to see the stock go north. And as you can see, the best place to find a new mine is the shadow of an old one. And they go through the leadership team. I'm not going to go through all of this, but you can see a very experienced team with over 100 years of combined experience and many, many major discoveries. Okay, and when you compare them to some of the other companies that are producing and exploring, you can see that they compare very favorably to their competitors. Especially when you consider their grades. So definitely a company that I think everyone should put on their list. Everyone should have on the radar and look at the share structure. You guys know I love to understand the fundamentals of a company. This share structure is phenomenal. Look at this fully diluted, fully diluted, which they're not yet, but fully diluted, 56 million shares fully diluted. And you guys know that I love companies with 100 million shares or less. When we see 50 million shares or less, I always tell you guys, bingo. Well, this is fully diluted, 56 million shares. It falls in that category of bingo. I love the share structure here. And you can see the cash balance of $9 million. So a good cash position. And the global nickel expiration peers, you can see some of the other peers and their share price, their shares issue outstanding, the enterprise value. So you can see how they compare to their peers. Still very, very undervalued when you compare them to their peers. So the historic runstone mine is open for expansion and Fathom Nickel is ready to do the job. They're ready to help them. They're ready to help Elon identify more nickel. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Why nickel for EV batteries? New efforts underway to tweak battery chemistry from 33% nickel to 80% nickel. Present day batteries employ 90% nickel. Wow, I didn't know that. Advancements are pointing towards batteries containing 80% nickel. Wow, unbelievable. NI use in EV batteries, two types of lithium ion batteries dominate EV batteries, nickel, manganese, cobalt, NMC, and nickel, cobalt, aluminum, NCA. NMC used by nearly every EV manufacturer globally, with the exception of Tesla, which uses NCA. Interesting. Very interesting. You can see the battery composition, the reduced cost expenditure, and the energy efficiency of nickel. NI increases energy density in the battery cathode, which equates to longer distances traveled. Batteries will be used more efficiently based on how cons consumers drive. So you can see here, nickel is very, very valuable. And it's also a reduced cost expenditure. Increased cost of lithium and cobalt has manufacturers shifting towards reduction of cobalt and increased nickel in battery composition. Interesting. Battery of Chevrolet Volt is 26% of total cost. Automaker is currently looking to reduce costs by increasing nickel composition. So do you see how everybody's looking for nickel? And there's so many major reasons why nickel is a game changer. And you need to be aware of that. You need to be aware of that. And that's what we do here. Yes, Mike, as you can see, great question. Is nickel easier to deal with than lithium? As you can see, I just broke it down. Nickel has better usage, better value 
for the EV space than lithium and then cobalt. And that's why we need to be looking at nickel stocks. And that's why we're bringing you this nickel stock today. Hey, my pleasure. Glad that you're back from your vacation. Love to know what you guys think about this pick. Let's take a look at the stock and see if it's doing anything. All right. Let's take a look at the stock again. See if there's any life at all. So here in America, you can see still kind of uh, not much going on. All right. And in Canada, you can see that it's traded 21,000 shares today. The average volume is 42,000 shares. I wanted to uh, mark this zone here where it's at. And I always like to mark the low, low and the high, high. You can see that we're very close to the low, low, despite the fact that they're just starting their drilling. Let's make this a little bigger. So you can see that they're very close to the low, low, despite the fact that they just started their drilling, despite the fact that they got money in the bank, despite the fact that, the fact that they are mining for one of the most needed properties on the planet right now for electric vehicles. And despite the fact that they've got a ridiculously tight share structure, everything's falling into place and the stock is down. So as investors, we need to be aware of that, right? So love to know what you guys think. Is this the time to get into Fathom Nickel? Do you think this goes lower? Do you think this goes higher? Love to know what you think. I think there's a chance for this to be an absolute game changer and I'd love to know what you guys think. So that's the stock right now in Canada. All right. So there's a lot of people talking about major nickel shortages and why a tiny little company named Fathom Nickel could catch the attention of vehicle manufacturers like Elon Musk and possibly land a giant contract. If they find a major nickel deposit, folks, we could see this absolutely explode. Now let's talk about eight reasons why investors are excited about Fathom Nickel. Let's do that right now. All right. All right, I'm gonna show you eight reasons why investors are excited about Fathom Nickel. Here we go. Number one, Fathom has secured what we think is one of the top nickel prospects in the world. Company has acquired the Roddenstone Mine, a former producer that recognized as one of the highest grade deposits ever mined in Canada. That's right, ever mined in Canada. The top eight reasons why, okay, Fathom Nickel has a chance to be special. Number two, nations across the globe are banning gas-powered cars. Countries like China, the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Norway, and Japan are mandating that all new cars be zero emissions as early as 2025. That's like three years, folks. That's big. Nickel could prove to be the secret weapon in increasing driving range and lowering costs of electric vehicles. Of all the metals, Nickel delivers the highest possible capacity while providing increased power and energy density. Number four, nickel demand could be about to increase dramatically. Tesla, GM, Ford, car manufacturers across the board are dramatically increasing the content nickel in their batteries, leading to a demand surge that could dwarf current nickel supplies. In fact, the International Energy Agency estimates the demand for nickel in electric cars and batteries will increase a whopping 4,028% in the next 20 years, jumping from 81 million tons per year to 3,344 million tons by 2040. Wow. More than the entire amount of nickel mined worldwide in 2019. That is mind-boggling. 
A nickel supply shortage could hit as early as 2023. Several analysts are predicting supply deficits as soon as two years from now, as the rapid growth in nickel consumption for far outpaces supply, setting the stage for a potential surge in nickel prices, which might prove to be a boon to companies like Fathom Nickel hunting for the next big deposit. And we're finding them at the bottom, folks. And we're bringing it to you first. And you can buy it in Frankfurt. You can buy it in Canada and the United States. They're listed in all three major exchanges where our community loves to invest. Risky countries like China and Indonesia control the majority of the world's nickel market. Indonesia owns the largest nickel reserves in the world and has already banned exports of unprocessed nickel ore. China has the largest refining capacity and might follow suit. What's more, Indonesia mines are known to be one of the worst polluting operations in the world. Number seven, car manufacturers like Tesla are particularly are practically begging for more nickel supply from safe nations like Canada, where Fathom Nickel is located. They see the writing on the wall and are desperate to secure a safe supply of responsibly mined nickel for the future. In fact, Elon Musk has gone on the record and offered a giant contract for a long period of time for companies that mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. And last but not least, number eight, Bidding wars for small nickel companies are starting to erupt as majors eagerly try to buy high quality projects. And we're bringing you one of the smallest miners that has one of the chances to have one of the largest properties that's already started drilling with money in the bank and a tight float. Bingo, 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 bingo. Now, hey, don't just go and buy the stock. I am not Rich TV Live is strictly for information education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. That's why we go through these stocks to explain to you what's going on. I'm not telling you to buy the stock. I'm educating you and hopefully doing it in an entertaining way. Bidding wars for small nickel companies are starting. So BHP Group, BHP, one of the biggest mining companies in the world, and Wailu Metals, just went head to head trying to outbid each other to buy Canadian nickel exploration company, Norant Resources. Norant owns 100% of the Eagle's Nest project. Eagle's Nest is the largest high grade nickel discovery in Canada since Boise's Bay. In order to secure the buyout, BHP made a bid so rich, it offered shareholders a 129% premium, more than double to where the stock was trading. This could be a sign of things to come. With nickel demand increasing and supply tightening, we could see big juicy buyouts of smaller nickel companies become the norm as majors race to lock up high quality nickel projects. Wow, 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 wow. And we're bringing this to you guys first. Now, I wanna say to you guys, you know, Rich TV Live, you know, We've got a great track record of identifying undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies first. If you guys like these videos, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Fathom Nickel. I don't think you've probably even heard of them until now. FNI in Canada, FNICF in America. Love to know what you guys think. Comment on the video, share it everywhere. Hit that bell for notifications so every time we go live, you'll know first. And we will be live again later on today with the CEO. So stay tuned. In a couple hours, we'll be back. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. What do you guys think about Fathom Nickel? I think it has a chance to be a big winner. What do you guys think? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And I'm out. Peace. Put it on your map. Put it on your radar. It's what we do best, and it's at the bottom. Can't go really too much lower, I don't think, but what's the upside from here? Could be a 10-bagger. It's true. Could.